Hello students, welcome back. Let's do framing algebraic expressions, exercise 15D. This is on page number 166. Fill in the blanks. Now in this exercise, we're going to learn to insert brackets and to insert terms inside brackets. Now, when we learned the previous exercise, to open or remove brackets, we followed a simple rule. We had to see the sign before the bracket. So here also, we have to see the sign before a bracket. So let's start with the first one. The first expression here is 2a plus b minus c on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, we have only 2a taken. So from the left, we have taken only 2a. Now we need to insert plus b and minus c inside the bracket. So when you insert that, when you put that into the bracket, see the sign before the bracket. If it is a plus sign, you can put those terms just like that without any change. So plus b, I can write it as plus b or simply b and minus c will remain as minus c. So no change if the sign is plus. Second one, 3x minus z plus y I have on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have 3x. Now I need to insert minus z and plus y into the brackets. So before that, let me see the sign. The sign is minus. That means what I put inside the brackets will change the sign. So minus z will become plus z or simply z plus y will become minus y. So this is z minus y. Question 3, 6p minus 5x plus q on the left hand side. On the right, 6p has been taken, only 6p. That means I need to put minus 5x and plus q inside the brackets. So what is the sign before that? Minus. So the signs of these terms will change. Minus 5x will become plus 5x or simply 5x. Plus q will become minus q. Question 4 a plus b minus c plus d. So we have four terms on the left hand side. On the right only a has been taken. So we have to put plus b minus c and plus d inside the brackets. Before that check the sign. The sign is plus. So no change. All the terms can be written as it is. So plus b will become simply b minus c plus d. So it's all the same. No change. Question 5. 5a plus 4b plus 4x minus 2c on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have 4x. That means only plus 4x or 4x has been taken. All the other terms have to be put inside the brackets. So we have 5a plus 4b minus 2c. Let me give 5a a sign plus 5a. Now let's put them all inside the brackets. Check the sign before the bracket. It's a minus sign. So this is a minus sign. That means all the terms that you're going to put inside, the sign will change. So plus 5a will become minus 5a, plus 4b will become minus 4b, and minus 2c will become plus 2c. Now we can rewrite the same answer by putting the positive sign first, that is by writing 2c first. So this will be 2c. Everything else will remain the same, minus 5a, minus 4b. Generally, when we write an expression, we put the positive term first, but both are correct. So this will be 4x minus this. I've only changed the order. Both answers are correct. Question 6. 7x plus 2z plus 4y minus 3. So here, minus 3 plus 4y have been taken. So, so much has been taken. To the right hand side. Now I just need to insert 7x and 2z. So before that let me check the sign before the bracket. It's a plus sign. So I can write 7x and plus 2z as it is. So this is 7x plus 2z. So my answer remains the same. Next one 3m minus 2n plus 6. So on the left hand side we have this. On the right 6 has been taken. So this has been taken. I have to insert plus 3m and minus 2n inside the brackets on the right hand side. And let me see the sign. The sign is minus. So I have to change the sign of the terms inside. So plus 3m will become minus 3m. Minus 2n will become plus 
to n. So we can rewrite this answer by putting the positive sign first. So here we have minus 3m and plus 2n. So I can put plus 2n or simply 2n first and minus 3m next. So the order is changed but the answers can be written in both ways. Question 8. 2t plus r minus p minus q plus s. So we have many terms here on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side 2t plus r have been taken. So so much has been removed. So now we have to only worry about the others. So we have minus p minus q and plus s. And let's see the sign before the bracket. It's a minus sign. So all these terms will change. Minus p will now become plus p or simply p. Minus q will become plus q and plus s will become minus s. So that is our answer. Insert the bracket as indicated here. Question 1. x minus 2y. So here we have minus and we need to insert x minus 2y inside the bracket. So since we have minus before the bracket, I must change the sign of all these. So plus x, this is plus x will become minus x and minus 2y will become plus 2y. So I can rewrite this answer because I have my positive sign in the second term. I can make that the first term. So plus 2y will become 2y here in the beginning and then I put minus x. I've only changed the order. The answer is the same. Question 2. m plus n minus p. Three terms and on the right hand side I only have a minus sign. So that means the sign of all these terms will change when I put it inside the bracket. So this is plus m. It will become minus m. Plus n will become minus n. Minus p will become plus p. Again, I'm going to rewrite the order by putting the positive sign first. So plus p will come first. Then minus m minus n. Question 3. a plus 4b minus 4c. And on the left hand side, on the right we have a. So only a has been taken. We need to insert the other two terms inside. Check the sign. It's a plus sign. So that means the other signs of all the terms will not change. It will remain the same. So plus 4b will still be 4b minus 4c. No change. Question 4. On the left hand side we have a minus 3b plus 5c. On the right a has been taken. So we have to insert the other terms inside. Check the sign. It's a minus sign. So now we have to change the sign of all the terms to be inserted. Minus 3b will become plus 3b or simply 3b. Plus 5c will become minus 5c. So that's our answer. Question 5. x square minus y square plus z square is there on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have only x square. So let's leave out x square and add the remaining inside. Before that, check the sign. It's a minus sign. So all the signs of the terms that are, we are going to put inside should change. So minus y square will now become plus y square or simply y square plus z square will become minus z square. Question 6. m square plus x square minus p square on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have only a minus sign. That means we need to put all these terms inside the bracket by changing the sign. So this is plus m square. It's going to become minus m square. Plus x square is going to become minus x square. And minus p square will become plus p square. So I'm going to rewrite by putting the positive sign first. That is plus p square I will put first. So I can write plus p square or simply p square and everything else remains the same minus m square minus x square. Question 7. 2x minus y plus 2z on the left hand side. On the right hand side I have only 2z. So I leave that and put the remaining terms inside. So what do I have before that? I have a minus sign before it. So that means the sign of all the terms inside will change. So plus 2x, let me put a plus 2, plus sign there. Okay, plus 2x will now become minus 2x 
and minus y will become plus y. Minus 2x plus y, I will rewrite this answer by putting the positive sign first, that is plus y. So let me put plus y or simply y and then minus 2x. Next one, ab plus 2bc minus 3ac on the left hand side. Now 2bc has been taken, so let's leave out 2bc and then put the remaining terms inside. Check the sign, it's a minus sign. So the sign of all the other terms will change. So plus AB will now become minus AB. Then minus 3AC will become plus 3AC. Minus AB plus 3AC. I'll rewrite that answer by putting the positive sign first. That is plus 3AC. So I will write it as 3AC minus AB. So this is my answer. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.